Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me Loganathan. This video regarding today's AIMS NORSET 2020 examination, the memory based question and answer which they written on the morning shift which I am going to say the question and answer. Total 35 questions which were remembered after the examination I have given along with the answers. If you are written that AIMS NORSET examination in the morning shift or in the afternoon shift, you can write your question and answer which you are remembering on my WhatsApp number. So that can be helpful for that upcoming examinations. Here we'll go with the question and answer. So the first question, identify the position given on the image. They given the reverse Trendenberg position on the image. And the second one, Identify the position of the fetus in the given image or the picture. They are given the picture of right occipital position that is ROP as the answer. And the third question, the COVID-19 outbreak first started in which country? They asked about the country which they were started the first, the COVID-19. We all know very well that December 2019 in Wuhan city in China country. The first outbreak was started. And 14th question, what is the size of the IV cannula in the given picture? They given the pink color IV cannula, that is the size of 20 gauge. This is a normal IV cannula, commonly will be used for the adolescence and adulthood. The fifth question, the knee flexed at the right angle, palpate the deep in the midline, is the pulse felt by the, which the nurse is? So the name of the pulse they asked just behind that knee in that legs that is called as popliteal pulse and another question from the pulse area so they given the image of the various sites of pulsation and they asked about this marking under that temporal area they marked the image and they asked what type of pulse will be felt on this head so the correct answer is temporal pulse and the seventh question so what is the normal neonatal heart rate they asked that is the answer is 120 to 160 beats per minute so that is commonly checked at the fifth intercostal space mid clavicular line and the eighth question the director of aims in the new delhi is the randeep guleria is the correct answer he is that new director of aims new delhi so on the ninth question, which of the following is the not computer input device? So they're given the option like a printer, scanner, mouse and keypad. So the correct answer is printer. So the printer actually is one of the output device. So the next question, the 10th one, the CEO of Google, they were asked. The answer is the Sundar Pichai from 2nd October 2015. He is the CEO of Google. And the next question, 11th one, which vitamin deficiency cause pernicious anemia? So the answer is vitamin B12, that is other name is cyanocobalamin. And the 12th question, the first discovered vaccine they asked. So the answer is small box, which is discovered by Edward Jenner. So this is the first vaccine we discovered in the worldwide. So the next one, so the purpose of this maneuver, they were asked by giving this image. They asked what is the purpose of this maneuver. The name of the maneuver is Hemlich maneuver. The option, this is that Hemlich maneuver. So the answer is to treat the upper airway obstruction. That is the Hemlich maneuver is given on the picture. So the next question, 14th one, the ISRO headquarters is situated in. That is the question. The answer is Bangalore. The name of the director is K7 and 15th one. So who is the president of Syria? That is Bashar al Ashad. And 16th one, identify the name of the machine in the given picture. So actually they're given that image of the fumigation machine. So they're given on the image and they asked to identify. And 17th one, so the coronavirus spread now in worldwide is called as, so the term they asked, that epidemiological spread they asked, the name is, pandemic 
So the COVID-19 pandemic, also known as the coronavirus pandemic, is an ongoing pandemic of coronavirus disorder in 2019, which is caused by severe acute respiratory symptom, coronavirus 2. And that next question, what is the normal CVP value, they asked, that is a 2 to 6 mm of Hg. And 19th one, the function of fallopian tube, they asked. So the function is, they transport the fertilized egg to the uterus for a fertilization process. So then the next 20th question, the Jackson plate drain used in which surgery? So the answer is, so these kind of drains are commonly used after that abdominoplasty or a breast reduction and breast reconstruction surgeries. And 21, they asked that uh, ergometrin used in which condition? So commonly, this ergometrin will cause that uh, contraction of the uterus to treat the heavy vaginal bleeding after the childbirth. And that next question, the premature destruction of RBC in which disorder? That is commonly will used to happen in the autoimmune hemolytic disorder. That is a hemolysis. And 23rd, the oral white patches in the infant which bleed when the touched seen in the which condition? The answer is leukoplakia. And the 22nd, identify the surgical blade size in the given image. So they are given that image of 12 blade size. And the next question. So identify the given image, the given that uh, in the image chittal forceps which is commonly used to transfer that sterilized instruments or gauze piece or gauze pad from the bin. And the next question, uh, they asked the question of how to measure the uterine contraction. So the easiest way to time contraction is to write down on the paper the time each contraction start and its duration. So mainly they will measure with that pathograph, the readings. And the further question, like an, uh, they asked one question from that fluid calculation for the adult. They given that uh, amount of fluid and the time duration and they given the drop factor also. So they asked to calculate the number of drops per minute. And next question, so the drug calculation for the pediatric, one question. And 29, they asked how to prevent the bed sore and they given the poor option and they asked the accept answer. So they asked the negative question. And 30th one, the snake uh, venum they asked. And 31st, again that uh, x-ray image they given. So that the correct answer for that x-ray image is peritoneal pneumonia. And another question from that uh, the type of skin graft. This is also an uh, image based question that added to. The image based question they given on the skin graft and they asked the type of uh, graft. And 33, the gangrene colon image they given and they asked uh, which type of gangrene that one. That is also image based. And two questions from that coding and decoding area. And that 35th, the paracetamol infusion they given on the image and they asked the what is the action of the paracetamol infusion that is 100 ml. What is the reason they asked? And uh, thank you for joining with me. If you are appeared in the morning shift or in that afternoon shift, you are going to appear main. Write your answers or the questions whichever you remember on the today examination in the comments box or you can inbox to me through the WhatsApp. Thank you. Do subscribe on Nursing Virus channel if you not yet done. And don't forget to click the bell icon and like button so you don't miss any videos.